So let's take a look at what's going on around the region today and is a lot different than it was yesterday. That is for sure. All kinds of changes over the weekend as expected that huge temperature drop coming on in. We got some sunshine come back in mixed with puffy clouds. But now take a look at what's happening to the west here. Uh, looking from downtown Boise, we've got high clouds coming in from the west. So there's another system that's going to bring some cloud cover overnight tonight, but it's not going to be uh, doesn't look like we'll get any precipitation in the Charger Valley. North wind about 15 miles per hour right now. So we've had a breeze. We've had some gusty wind today, but the bottom line is it's still very chilly at 70 at 63. We're normally a 79, so we're way below uh, average right now. So uh, technically uh, 63, not, not 62 for the high temperature, 67 in Ontario. Look at the mountains, 47 McCall, where it did snow this weekend. I saw snow falling in Cascade, and I'm going to show you how much uh, in the, my storm reports here coming up, how much snow fell uh, in the uh, higher peaks. It's uh, pretty astounding. 50 degrees in a Stanley. Uh, and here we go with our storm reports. Okay, so all these little snowflakes represent reports, just some reports that came in with snow official reports. So we'll take a look at that first one. This is a mountains above the Warm Lake here. So the Big Creek Summit snow tell site above Warm Lake. 11 inches of snow falling with the storm total here. And of course, that being during the day on Sunday. There's other reports in here as well. This one here on the Idaho Oregon border. Uh, west of Cambridge on Bear Saddle, the snow tell site there, 14 inches of snow. That's uh, a lot of snow, 14 inches. And then the biggest report here, right at the Tamarack Ski Resort snow stake, 17 and a half inches of snow. A foot and a half of snow fell at 6,600 feet at Tamarack Resort. If you go to their website right now, it's down to about uh, seven or eight, and it's just melting rapidly, but a tremendous amount of snow falling uh, during the day on Sunday. That was a massive storm coming through, and it was a cold one indeed. Left behind some rain showers and thunderstorms in eastern Idaho. Some high clouds are approaching from the west right now. That's what I just showed you on the uh, the view of downtown Boise, but that rain you see over Portland, that should track on off to the north and to the east with this next system, and that shouldn't affect us. Now, we do have chilly conditions overhead. There are frost advisors for the Magic Valley, but not for the Treasure Valley. Our forecast, as you see, tomorrow will kind of be between what's showing up on the map here. Wednesday through Friday, this warmer air is going to be moving in. And by Friday, Thursday and Friday, we're really going to be heating up. We're talking getting back up to 90. The heat comes right back in as the low pressure we had this week. And here it is. And it's moving on off to the north and to the east right now. And so with it is all the precipitation. That cloud cover will continue to, to track mostly to our north here. But look to the north and west. This low pressure system here is going to start heading in our direction. This is looking just like the last one. This low pressure here is Saturday. This one is Sunday to the west of that. The Saturday one, you may think, okay, it's just going to come in. No, this one's actually going to rotate back around this low pressure system as all of this is sliding to the south and to the east. And so this low pressure system Saturday here is going to dive to the south and Southern California comes straight up to the north as our second low pressure, see if I can clear this a little bit, our second low pressure is making a loop like this one, just a little bit further north than the last one. Not quite as cold, not quite as wet, but you know what? Another major temperature change is likely. Look at this time lapse where we'll call the snow showing up still on the ground left over this morning and then disappearing right now. It is still 46 degrees. And how about this extended forecast here? 52 tomorrow with rain showers, 68 up to 74 on Thursday. And then look at Friday, 75, and then here we go again. Saturday, 49 with rain, 56 on Sunday. Future cast shows that cloud cover coming in with some rain showers tomorrow as well for the McCall area. Looks like we could see that, but for the valley, but we're going to see a lot of sunshine in the valley tomorrow. At the same time, a quarter inch or more could fall in the McCall area. Take a look at my uh, forecast here for the Treasure Valley, Idaho News 6 forecast. Near 70 tomorrow, still below average. The breeze won't be as strong as it was today. We'll get some sunshine, but I still think there'll be some cloud cover mixed in during the day with temperatures near 70. Up in the mountains tomorrow, we'll see temperatures in the 60s in Boise County. Uh, the showers later in the day, 52 in the McCall areas are still chilly in those higher elevations, mostly cloudy. Maybe a late evening shower coming into the McCall area. But here's our extended forecast for the Treasure Valley. We're heating up rapidly, 69, then 82, 89 Thursday, topping uh, 86 on Friday. But there it is again on Saturday, a massive temperature drop just at the wrong time, but it looks like this one will not affect us on Sunday, Don, with rain 
it's coming in again, though, another storm, not as big as this past one. This past one was really dramatic. Welcome to June in Idaho, right? Yeah, I guess so, right? <laughs> All right, thanks, Scott. Coming up.